I do think the skepticism might be a little heavy, to be honest with you. This, they do say that they, they admit that they're using a uh, novel software, and not, it's probably AI, like Milo was saying. From what I understand, they're scanning it multiple times, looking at the changes in the scan, and then uh, using that with AI to model what would cause those changes. Now, it sounds a little crazy, and you look at the images, and you're like, well, maybe, you know, that might, could be this, it could be that. But I, mean, I have to point out that none of us here know how to really read those images. And, I mean, if I showed up a piece of sheet music on the table right here and said, you know, what is this? If you don't read music, you just see lines and dots. But if you read music, you see Mozart. So I, I think it might be a little bit over skeptical to just dismiss this out of hand. Um, I would like to see them peer review the work. If they don't peer review it, that is a little bit of a red flag, but it's very common for people to release their stuff now. They're, they release their, their pop culture version of it, get some funding, and then they push the peer review through. I mean, even the Cave of Bones stuff, that the Home of the Deli stuff was uh, done that way. We, we got the Netflix special before the peer review papers, if I remember right. So this isn't, this isn't like just pseudoscience does this. This is a common thing.